Nibble a little snack, spoil the whole bag. Because today you can do the smart sealer. You are getting a two pack. You're getting two of the smart sealers and you're getting the bags and the batteries included. Check this out. It instantly seals your plastic bags. Mm -hmm. This That's is exactly amazing, it. Mark. Look at that, you guys. If you're curious how good that seal is, there it is right <laughs> to start the show off. All right. Now, this really is one of the smartest gadgets you'll ever have in your kitchen. Let me show you how it works and then let me show you why, okay? So listen, we uh, food manufacturers spend a fortune trying to figure out the best packaging to put their food in because it's got to sit on the shelf for a while, right? Mm -hmm. So what do we do? We get it home and we open it up. And the second we do that, Sarah, the clock starts ticking. In fact, here in the southern states, you have exactly 17 minutes to finish this bag of chips or it turns into like mush. So guys, here's all you're gonna do. Here's your smart sealer. You're gonna press it together. Here comes the manual. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. We're done. And all you're gonna do is just from side to side or middle out, you decide, you're just gonna run that sealer across the top of the bag. Cause guys, here's the deal. If you want this to have a shot at last and a little bit longer, stretching a little bit more, throwing out a little less money, then you gotta keep the elements away. The moisture, the air, the food, the bugs, all that kind of stuff, okay? So guys, You chip. just resealed a potato <laughs> chip bag. And that's what's so great about the smart sealers that you don't have to buy these big configurations and you don't have to buy specific bags. No, not at all. Listen, you bought a bag already. Your food came in it. You're not married to my company. You don't have to buy my bag forever. By the way, here's my impression of every teenager in the country this morning. <laughs> okay. Yum, 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 yum. And they're gonna put that in in there and they're gonna put that there and they're gonna walk off that's what they're gonna do and you're gonna find you sound this like you speak from experience <laughs> every day you're gonna find this in about three hours and have to throw out the top part of it you guys what I love about the smart sealer is this isn't one of those big appliances that you spend a ton of money on that you don't want the kids to touch one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand now they can do it themselves I love that so let me show you exactly how this works the way it does all right now guys, I'm just gonna take you back to grade one science class. Couldn't be faster, couldn't be simpler. A Little bit of positive energy, a little bit of negative. When you put it together, you get a little bit of heat. And it really is that simple. And by the way, there's a few other features on here. Let me show you that. That little guy right there, that's an on off button, but you don't need to know that because it's automatic, all right? Okay. We do give you the batteries, mm -hmm. but we're also gonna give you a battery guard so it doesn't connect and waste the batteries. If I turn it over, you're gonna get a little magnet right in the back so this can live on the backsplash of the fridge or whatever. And you're even gonna get one of those clamshell packages. So when the time comes for you to buy one of the, the you know, something like this, so you can save a little money mm -hmm. from going out in the restaurant, spending all that dough. Here's the thing, you guys, if you've ever bought one of these bags of lettuce, you know, you can go back to that the next day and it's all brown. And really, yes. you might as well head out to your favorite five-star restaurant if you're gonna do that. So watch this, right in the middle. Mm -hmm. All you do is run it across. You're recreating You're resealing that the bag. seal. And you can do that as many times as you many want. Many times as you want. If you want to eat one piece of lettuce at a time. Isn't that great? <laughs> I love that, you can reseal your bags. I was idea. reading some of your reviews, and a lot of you said, hey, it, uh, if all you do is use it for your salad right. bags, it is well worth the price today. And remember, you're getting a set of two. Let me just walk you through the color choices, because you'll have some fun here. You can uh, find that you can decorate your kitchen with it. We have the aqua. We have this lime green color. We have black, we have red, we have blue, and we also have the plum. You're getting two, we're giving you the batteries, two of those AA batteries to get started, and we're also giving you 20 of those resealable bags. You don't have to use that particular bag going forward, that's just our gift to you so you can get started. Where is Mark Gill? Where did he go? I can't keep track of this guy. He, he blends, he, he everywhere he goes, he disappears. <laughs> have a look at this, you guys. There they all are on the backsplash. Like I said, what is the point of having one of the best kitchen gadgets in the world if you can't find it in the drawer? Mm -hmm. So go ahead and stick that up wherever you need it. Take one to work, put it on the side of your desk. You know you go and get those little like, uh, 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 chip bags or snack bags out of a vending machine, there's three servings in there. Seal it back up instead of eating it all at once. You know what I mean? And guys, here's a great one. Every single time you open and close the door to a freezer, you exchange warm air for cold. Okay. That's where the snow comes from. That's where the frost comes from. That's where the freezer bite comes from. So if you're like me and you're gonna grab some waffles, take out six or seven, nice hearty breakfast, <laughs> and you're left with this. And it doesn't matter what you do with this. If you wanna fold it up, crinkle it, this, that, or the other, when you come back to it, it's freezer burnt and it's got the snow on it. That's because you haven't recreated the original manufacturer's seal. And like I said, I'm not gonna send you searching for a bag or something else to put it in. I'm not gonna make you transfer anything. I'm not gonna marry you to my company and make you buy my bags forever. Because mm -hmm. then what happens if I go out of business, if it changes sizes, if yeah. you can't find it, then you can't use it. You can always use this because your food already came in a bag. And by the way, your animals 
your birds, your dogs, your cats, your yeah. plants even. They love fresh food as much as you do. And for a lot of us, we keep this kind of thing out in the garage. So yeah, yeah. go ahead and keep that uncovered. <laughs> You're getting a whole bunch of pets yeah, that you didn't name. Yeah, I've learned from experience. Yeah, bad idea. <laughs> bad idea. So you can even <laughs> the go. The squirrels loved me though. I'll tell you what, very popular. <laughs> Look at that. There's your open, there's your closed bag, you guys. Now the, now the food stays fresh. And even the bigger ones, mm -hmm. this is kind of cool. Potting soil is like everything else. You've got live elements in here. You want to keep everything fresh. So it doesn't matter if your bag is thick, if it's thin, if there's a foil liner, you control the speed, you control how fast you go. So guys, have a look at this. Even the biggest, most difficult bags makes no difference at all. There it is sealed, there's everything fresh, and here's everything open. And that's the difference, you guys, your before and after. That's, that's what we're talking about. I mean, and it works so fast. And I, I love the idea of sealing things so your food stays longer, especially if you buy in bulk. I like to go to those warehouse stores mm -hmm, and you for buy, sure. oh, I need 25 pounds of salmon. I'm not gonna eat that all in one right. sitting. But you break it up, you put it in plastic bags, and you wanna have it perfectly sealed. This is your answer without buying a big, cumbersome, bulky appliance that you have to buy certain bags right. for. This is as small as a stapler. So if you have room for a stapler, uh, you have room for smart the incredible sealer, yeah. smart sealer. And you're getting two, so you can keep one, you can gift one to a, your daughter, your son, your neighbor, your girlfriend. You know, make sure that you have one of these handy. And those of you that have it, you own it, you love it, uh, give us a call, tell us what you think. Because first out of two for less than $19.95, it's a really great great value because think about how much food we waste right because we we're too lazy to put it in and if you don't want to keep all those big plastic containers and you don't want to keep buying expensive bags that have the locking system right this means you just use the bag that it already came in That's it just makes it. sense you already bought a bag well you buy more now by the way this is the coolest demo on live tv i gotta tell you sometimes i get a little excited i pull through it too fast you get a little drip everybody will understand <laughs> it's all for timing here you guys look at this you want to see how good that seal is that is how good that seal is. It's the real deal, you guys. With the summertime coming, you can even make your own fresh uh, or homemade uh, like fruit snacks. Yeah, you know popsicles. What I mean? The little popsicle let's, guys there. Let's do that. So how does it work? It does it by sure. have melting? Sure, Let me show you it again. Exactly. In order to recreate that seal, you have to melt the plastic together. You gotta do it at the right temperature and the right speed. So remember, you've got an on-off switch here, but it's automatic. I'm just letting you know what's going on. You got a positive side and a negative side. And when they touch, it creates heat. It really is that simple. So guys, everything around the house that the air can get at, it can spoil. This is a bad one. I mean, what's your method here? Do you spin, do you tuck? Is it a staple gun, a clothespin? What are you working on with this? I'll tell you, you're still throwing bread out, so it's not working. My list is in full effect today. You're still throwing the bread out. <laughs> Guys, watch this. I love this. You haven't had your waffles well, I yet. I have not had my waffles. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. And all you do is run it across. Again, air and moisture is the enemy of freshness. And the problem is, when we get these bags at home and we open mm -hmm. them, if we don't seal them properly, it can get in. And one of your best examples, best examples, are things like rice and beans yeah. and flowers. When I first moved here to Florida, I mean, uh, I would live, I'm from the uh, same climate you're mm -hmm. in. It's much drier. Northern climate, so yeah. if you leave the lid off of this, it's okay. Come to Florida, though, uh-uh. You check that in about a week and a half, the southern states, all of a sudden there's pepper in there moving. <laughs> you didn't put it in there. <laughs> Even your dry foods, right? You might not think that they need to be, you know, stay fresh because they're dry, like a bean or a rice or a lentil, but just like everything else, you guys, if mm -hmm. the moisture gets at it, if the air gets at it, if the element gets at it, if the bugs get at it, that's oh, yeah. just money you're throwing out. I mean, out. how many times have you been disappointed to pull out, whether it's chicken breast from the freezer and realize, oh my gosh, they're all freezer burned. I just wasted another five or $10 on, on chicken. Think about all the times you pulled out your rice, your flour, it had bugs or right. some other kind of little uh, rodent infestation. Uh, that's no fun. And then you, ha then you have to throw away everything in the cupboard. <laughs> right. And think about the money that you've wasted. And that's what it is. And you could be saving money. I mean, use it a couple times. It's probably already paid for itself. Right. Listen, we all work hard for our dough. There's no point in just throwing it away in the garbage if you can avoid it. You're going to get 20 of these little f food bags as well. So if you've got like the half can of cat food or an onion or some asparagus left over, something that causes a little bit of odor, go ahead, pop it in those bags. And remember, as it makes the seal on the little ones, it also creates the new top so you can
can just seal it, rip it anytime you want. Oh my gosh, an but, onion, that's like the best reason of all. <laughs> so, right? so everything else doesn't smell like an onion. You but know you're right, our chips go stale that's quickly. It. You know, for, for most of us, uh, next week I'll be selling a product that opens the bag. Right? For most of us, this is what we're gonna use it on. Things like chips, snacks, crackers. And the bottom line is, if you're throwing out half bags all the time because they're going stale, mm -hmm. that's just a lot of money, guys. It adds up. Remember, like I said, as soon as we get home, we open these and the clock starts ticking. The air, the moisture, the food, the bugs. Unless you're gonna eat all this in one sitting, you know the chance you take. And if you roll it up, the air still gets in. If you mm -hmm. if you clip it up, the air still gets in. How's the clothespin work? That, the clothespin, the clothespin, that that's a dicey one. That's usually <laughs> that's reserved for 22 one. year old males. All right, so guys, watch this. Again, you're just lining up the seal and you just run it right across. You can go end to get, end, you can start in the middle, you can do whatever you want. Doesn't have to be pretty, doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be straight. It just has to be sealed. You gotta get wow. the air out of there, Sarah. And think about that. I mean, I've got marshmallows out here. I maybe use marshmallows like twice a year. Right. So you're not using it every day. What do you do to make sure that those marshmallows are fresh exactly. the next time you decide to make coke? You know, your right, hot, your hot chocolate or your, or little, your s'mores or whatever yeah, it is your you're doing. Snack right? treats. Exactly, yeah. A couple months later, these are little weapons. You get a little slingshot for them. <laughs> That's, That's what right. happens when you leave them out. But you could you could save these and they'll be just as fresh next right. year as they are this year. And remember, you're getting two of these. So if you're a fan of camping, boating, hiking, uh, you know, fishing, mm -hmm. anything like that where you're gonna do an overnighter, just for this purpose alone, throw that in your backpack and have it there. It weighs right. virtually nothing. Ooh. And again, we're gonna get you those batteries with it for mm -hmm. free. You get and, the batteries, yep. you get a set of two and you get 20 of the food bags just to get you started but remember you don't have to buy anything else going forward you don't have to you know buy the endless certain, supply of bags yeah endless supply of bags we're going to take care of everything including the batteries get a set of two and then uh shop for a friend this is such a great idea wow. and uh I don't, I don't like stale cookies. I want my uh -uh. cookies to be nope. fresh, Mark Gill. That's right. All right, thanks so much, Mark. Great to see you. Enjoy your waffles. We'll be right back with more in the kitchen, including the Spiralizer coming up next. There's no better love than customer love. Our customers make us